because I know enough to know this is not normal or healthy behavior in any way and I want to know why. Why would I have done this? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Sorry about the voice today. Been sick for a week with the flu, so struggling a little bit, but we're going to give it a go. Different sort of video today. Well, we've done one like this before. Yes. In fact, we've done one exactly like this before. Yeah. Same situation. Off to an audition, got Olive in the back seat, and um, otherwise it wouldn't be a great life with all of the grand. Olive wasn't here. Not saying that um, driving you around everywhere isn't great. <laughs> I love it, really. Will I drive you there? I guess so. I um, have to go to school on Monday, so I'm going to try and have a voice to teach with on Monday. And while we're talking about school, I should probably give a shout out to a few girls that have given a shout out to me. So hi to Amy, Ella, and Jody. So where are we going, Indy? I'm actually dizzy. <laughs> Prepare to keep right no, after three kilometers. I did not ask for you to give me some lines. Okay, you give me some lines. All right, part that I'm reading from she never says like, I don't know, maybe. I don't know. You won't listen to me. I don't know, but it just seems wrong. It's against it so much. Wrong. It just seems wrong. I wrong. actually, how wrong. I started doing it is, you know, from watching Monk. Yeah, yeah. Sharona in Monk. When she'd be like, Adrian, Adrian, need the doctor. Talk to you, Adrian. What do you normally do for a warm up for this kind of audition? I suppose I just practice the accent in the car. Maybe. I want to see the. I want to see the dog. The Where's dog? the dog? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So have you decided what piece you're going to do as a second piece of the warm up? Probably the fish monologue from other people, like Christopher Me? I'm not normally as crazy as I am with you, but I just for some reason, whenever we're together. Isn't that nice though that we can have like a mother-daughter relationship like that where we get along yeah. and we have fun together? Isn't that fun? I think so. Isn't that nice? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's nice. No, it is. Because we're more like friends, aren't we? Now, I've got every confidence in your ability to impress them today. But I know that the director of this play, because I work with him, I know that he is looking for someone shorter than you. And he knows how tall you are, and he already said to me that he thinks you're probably going to be too tall. But probably is the word. Where I they... don't see why, in this day and age, being too tall or being taller than the male act you're opposite is a problem. Look at Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Yeah, but they did look funny together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous as well because they all know me and they know who I am. So if I mess up, it's not like, oh, well, I'll never see them again. 
so I, I'm pretty sure he said that they've cast the boyfriend already. Oh, Olive, she's getting really? excited because there's people going past. In... <laughs> How tall did he say the guy he cast was? He said to me they're looking for an actress who's around 5'3"-ish. How unlikely is that? Probably quite likely. People are short. <laughs> it's just our family that's so tall all the time. Why is there just this one spotlight on my chin and it's so annoying? <laughs> <laughs> what about if you put this down? No. There Wait, we go. Yes. Fixed it. <laughs> Lighting tech. Call me MacGyver. <laughs> Actually, my sister calls me MacGyver. Why? Because I can fix things. <laughs> See, look, before <laughs> you had a problem. I have a little I tea. fixed it. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> MacGyver. Mumgaiva, there we go. I'm not going to call you that. Mumgaiva. Mumgaiva. Natgaiva. Natgaiva. I got it. Yeah, See what I, I did that. there? Yeah. So, why don't you let me practice some lines with you? You can. I haven't memorized the lines because I'm meant what? to be reading. It's not, you're not meant to memorize them, you're meant to just read them. All right, oh, okay, hold it. All right, so who will I be? Beatrice. Hi. Beatrice. I can't read it that. Can you make it bigger? <laughs> Listen, Catherine. What are you going to do with yourself? I can't take this seriously. <laughs> Why not? He won't listen to me. What am I going to do? Just kick him in the face with it? <laughs> I don't know, babe. It just seems wrong if he's against it so much. I want to tell you something. Here, sit down. Was there ever any fella he liked for you? <laughs> I mean, you switch between being this woman and then a Dementor because your voice just goes, <laughs> Is there ever any fella he liked for you? <laughs> but he says Rodolfo's is after his papers. Look, he'll say anything. It would be like, no, like, different. Like. <laughs> help! Yeah, but how am I going to do that? He still thinks I'm a baby. Why do I have the most lines? I told you 50 times. <laughs> That's okay, thank you for driving me here. I'm getting sick in my stomach. No, you're not. Gee, I'm all mixed up. See, I... He looks so sad now and it hurts me. He said you was jealous? No, it was the first I thought of it. I'm getting a treat. Love a snack? <laughs> no, thank you. Mmm, mm, she makes them sound so delicious. It looks like crocodile skin, though. Yeah. Mm. No, I, I, I yeah, maybe they press do. it like they squash it. She didn't use to I like feel those. nervous because I know these people. I'm a believer in your talent, Indy. Oh, a believer. <laughs> There's kangaroos. There's no kangaroos here. It's kangaroos. It's a puss cat. It's a puss cat. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> she says, I don't care. I just know that they're a treat. Or a kangaroo. <laughs> Kangaroos. <laughs> Never gets old. All right, do the, the okay. other thing. Falling apart. Roaches. Like rats in a lab we are, okay? <laughs> anyway, one night she makes this really greasy pot of fish and this really greasy yellow sauce and she leaves it simmering on the stove. She goes out to meet her boyfriend and I go into the kitchen and I open the pot. Me. And looks like sewage huge ridiculous this pot is and so i think i'll try this and i do i take out a spoon and i take a bite and another and another and i'm a rational human being i know that she's made this for her boyfriend and they'll be back soon but the whole pot all of it and i run into the bathroom and i'm numb and i put my hand into my mouth okay and i'm sitting there and i'm covered in fish covered i look a ghoul green literally and I'm thinking, what? Because I know enough to know this is not normal or healthy behavior in any way, and I want to know why. Why would I have done this? What on earth? Literally, what on earth? What at this point in history? What could make a person feel this unbearable sadness and think these terrible thoughts? 
these thoughts, I will never be loved. <laughs> That's really messed up that you're laughing at my <laughs> deepest, darkest thoughts. I cannot live in this world. Because you see, my roommate's going to come back and she's going to say, where's the fish? And the only answer is, Petra ate it. <laughs> Petra ate the fish. How can I go on? And that's where it ends. That's where I end it. Chookers. Bye. Um, I'll just be waiting here. Yeah. All right, do your thing.